Also exciting is this huge advancement in treating sickle cell disease. A patient at Texas Children's Cancer and Hematology Center is the first patient in Texas to become her very own donor to reverse her rare blood disorder. 17-year-old Helen Nduku has been suffering severe pain from sickle cell disease her whole life. The first major crisis when she was only one. She actually died in my hands. Um, and uh, we called the ambulance. She came back to life, went to the hospital. Helen's life was spared, but her pain wasn't. When I was little, I remember times where I'd be in the middle of class and I'd just start crying because I was in so much pain. Um, I remember not being in school very often, going home a lot. Um, I just remember crying. I cried a lot, like really hard. And when you say you were in pain, what hurt? Can you describe what that felt like and where in your body what that was like? It's, um, it's a pain that goes everywhere. It's kind of like needles and maybe bricks just stacked on top of you, squeezing, sometimes pulling. I don't know, it just feels like your body's decaying in like the worst ways possible. Sickle cell anemia can affect anyone. However, it mostly affects African-Americans. There's a single genetic mutation uh, that causes the red blood cells, the, the cells in the body that deliver oxygen uh, to become um, inflexible. So under stress, they will sickle and create kind of a, a sickled C shape. And those that cells then get stuck in the small blood vessels throughout the body and cause things like the significant pain. Um, they cause organ damage. Until now, there was only one treatment option for children with sickle cell, but it only helped manage the condition and still often required monthly blood transfusions. But now a possible cure is on the horizon, and many families and researchers are watching and waiting to see how it works for Helen. She's the very first patient at the Texas Medical Center to receive gene modification therapy. Um, there have been others on this particular clinical trial. There's about 50 other people with sickle cell disease who've received this therapy. She is the first uh, in the Texas Medical Center and the first uh, in Texas, as well as um, one of the youngest patients. Helen had her doubts at first. I didn't have hope for it, to be honest. I thought it was a lost cause. But she agreed to go for it. Siblings often act as a stem cell donor, but that wasn't an option for Helen. Dr. Tammy John is a Texas children's pediatric hematologist oncologist who was in charge of the clinical trial. What we were able to do was take stem cells from Helen and take those to a lab where scientists then modified those cells uh, with a new gene. They inserted a new gene, and then we were able to give those stem cells back to her and watch them grow where they produce new hemoglobin. It takes one year to find out the results, and it has now been a year for Helen. From everything we've seen, she has no evidence of sickle cell disease. Uh, we have, um, she clinically has changed. She's, she's been able to stop all of her chronic pain medications and really start to engage in everyday activities that for, for years and years of her life, she just wasn't able to do or think about. Um, the, the concept of cure is still um, under discussion in the medical community after gene therapies, and clinically, her symptoms have resolved. Because she feels well for the first time ever, Helen just learned how to ride a bike. She can finally sit up straight for longer than an hour, plus she can walk and exercise for the first time. Helen has more hope than ever, but is still adjusting to what it feels like to be pain-free. I think it's strange. It's not, it's not normal to me to like not be sick all the time. Mm. So I, it, it's like foreign land. I don't know how to conquer it yet, but I'm working on it. She's amazing. It's night and day for me. While about 50 other patients have also undergone this procedure, it's still in clinical trials. But doctors believe this could brighten the future of many patients with sickle cell. This is a huge breakthrough to be able to um, to discuss and share with patients. I think it, it can be life-changing as we've seen, and the hope is we see it becoming more and more available.
Oh, Helen never imagined she'd be well enough to go to college now. One more year of high school, she's doing so well, she may even go out of state to her wow. favorite school of choice. Her mom says, no, don't leave, but Aww. she's so excited for her. She's just so thrilled. I mean, what um, I hope she's giving to so many people. Yes. Are there already people signed up for the gene therapy now? Or yes, the clinical trial is ongoing, okay. and so they'll be closely watching it and certainly are hoping that mm -hmm. that will become the mainstream treatment. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, Helen, we want to hear back from you yeah. and how, what, what she's going to do in the future.